All right, looks like they're getting them lined up here. We might be doing some comparison. Uh -uh. Now, like we discussed earlier, big part is coming in conditioned and of course you know we look at shape but it's when you come back from finals making sure you keep that fullness and making sure the conditioning is still showing um this is when ladies really have to come and bring it because you never know if they're going to compare and do what we're doing now so this could be a make or break moment for some of these ladies i know i think a lot of times too like after pre you're like oh some girls are like oh i'm just gonna eat whatever i want now like you know they've already made their decision like i'll still look yeah. good and then that can, like you said, it can really like make or break you because you come back and maybe, maybe they are trying to figure out, hey, like, I don't know, it's be between these two, yeah. like it was hard. And then it's like, well, if I didn't eat that, maybe I could have looked a little bit sharper, yep. you know? Yeah, absolutely. You guys both compete on the pro stage and national level. What, what meals are you eating in between judging or pre-judging and finals? So for me with, you know, with figure, you want to still keep that fullness. So you're still having, you know, your, your protein, of course, but you're definitely still carb loading up too. So getting those carbs because you want to come back even fuller, um, maybe a little bit of water, but I mean, other than that, you're really just carb loading because you want to look full when you get back on stage. I normally, I just have like my normal meals, you yeah. know what I mean? Just like, I'll probably have, depending on the time, I'll have like one meal, um, you, like you said, a little bit of water, yeah. you know what I mean? Just to kind of stay hydrated. Um, but I don't like to eat, usually like I cut the veggies fiber-wise, right? Just so yeah. I'm not super um, just bloated feeling. And that's another thing that you gotta watch out for because you don't wanna overdo it and then come back bloated. Like, yeah. it's really important what you eat in between prelim and final because it can really make or break, you know, your stage presence. Yes, yeah. look how good though. But yeah. it looks like, you know, look at Jessica. Jessica's looking, I, in my opinion, I think she looks even tighter from prelim she does. actually. She does, she does. She is ready to defend her title tonight. Yeah, she is. And you can tell she's just, she's confident. She's coming for it. You know what I mean? Yep. Coming to the show, this is. You know, and she took first there. And I remember seeing her, and she just, she comes in very conditioned. Yep. Her, like, you just, cortisol, go, cortisol goes down. And I was just going to say that next. I was going to say, when you come back from prelim, you're like, all right, I already went on stage. I think is very important. Yeah, I think women, I feel like we have to put a lot into our overall look. So it's always nice seeing these ladies did Chicago Pro. I actually did Chicago Pro with her. Um, I definitely think her physique is first. Yep. Right? Like when she comes out, like when she's walking, all you see is like her shoulders and like her. I ended up changing oh, it last minute. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't know how I feel about black on me. See, yeah. and that's what I was going to say. Like, it kind of depends on the glue. Yeah. yeah. Muscular. So I said, a lot of these ladies, their core is looking great. Yeah. You know, of course, we always look at the typical figure suit design. No, it's pretty in the back, huh? Like, how the little, like, showcasing her shape really well. And like you said, her confidence is great. You yeah. Can, you can really see the confidence on her. Tampa. I think blue is pop a little bit higher, yep. you think, too. And I feel like that's always was my problem. Like, the, I would look at it like broad, very broad chest yes. and arms. It's very, like, she almost looks like she has this, like, um, You can see the difference between it being hiked up because, oh. to be honest, her and Lena's weights were probably the same. Yeah. But it, you can't tell because how the suit is. So Lena's suit being that high, her waist is getting broader. She's kind of, in my opinion, she's came in even tighter for final, so. Yeah, she looks fabulous. Her core is popping, quads are definitely showing. I admired her and her physique, and I always thought she looked beautiful. Same. Yeah, the judges love to see that. They love to see you up there having a good time. I think that's what's really important. It's, it's like, of course, you're going to be nervous a little bit, but ultimately, this should be fun for you, you know? Yeah. You work hard. You have little little time up there. Just take your time. And I feel like when you take your time, you're you're. it's easier to... Pose, right? Yeah. Hey, pretty. Yeah, I like the red suit. Yeah, I was just gonna say that I like that red on her. Nice. 
She's got a really nice taper. Yeah. Very beautiful. Um, she's always had great quads. Definitely great legs. And her conditioning with her, her lower half has always been there. So you like to see a tap in more detail there. Yeah. I was just going to say, she's Karen's very muscular. Yeah. She's a very, when she comes, it's very strong. Like She has a soft. Thank you very much. We're now going to have the top five that stay on stage for a big group photo. Once again, big thank you for Let's Get Serious and for Far Labs Premium and their support of the figure division and the Texas Pro. champion stay on to take her ceremonial picture now back to back to back texas pro champion how about that jessica reyes padilla what a 12 months it has been for you runner-up at the olympia 2023 masters olympia championship and now the three-peat here in Texas. Why was this so important for you to come back here in Texas and go for the three-peat? Um, even though I qualify already for the Olympia, I love like to support the promoters and the people that are, they're like there, like for us making amazing events like this. Like thank you to uh, Battle Up Productions, to Freddie and Sheila. They always like bring it and this year was even better than last year. And that's my way like to give back to the community, to give back to the industry, and to also give the opportunity to other figure athletes that they wanna like step on stage with an Olympian figure to see how they look. And that's my way like to give that back, back to them. So you just spoke like a very humble. Champion like you are, but I'm gonna speak for her on this part. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an all-time great on stage here. Jessica Reyes Padilla not only recorded her third straight Texas Pro Champion, but her 24th overall IFBB Pro victory. You're certainly one of the greats here in the figure division. Thank you. Well, that uh, makes me like the figure with more pro wins. So at least I got that, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we are gonna continue. I love what I do, honestly, and it helps me like to get better every year, not just as an athlete, but as a person. And um, that is why I love like competing. I love competing. I love what I do. And that this is like the way that I, like I said, like I give back. So I will continue adding more wins to that list if that allows me. You know, there is one more win you could add to your trophy cabinet. It is a win that you came very close to last year at the Olympia. So here's what I want you to do. There's the camera, the main camera, because I know the greatest of all time figure, Sydney Gillen, is certainly watching this live stream right now. Can you, can Jessica Reyes Padilla knock the door down and win the figure Olympia? What say you? Your message right now is the chance watching at home. Well, I just could say that in the same in the same way that I could do it, everybody could do it if they believe in themselves and they do what they need to do. Like the only thing that I could control is um, what is in my hands and, my, and, and what that's, what can I do is like keep improving, giving my best every single day, and rely like my plans like to God. I think that He got a purpose for everything and everybody, and His time is always perfect. So I'm not gonna, I'm not rushing anything i'm just like doing what i need to do when it's that's timing like for me I'll, I'll, i'm gonna get it but i need to do my part and that's what i'm doing so thank you so much 
Well, Jessica, on behalf of Battle of Productions of the Texas Pro for the fans here in Texas, you're a legend, you're a Texas Pro legend, and certainly one of the IABB Pro ranks. And I can say now that I'm a Dallas girl because I recently moved out to Dallas three weeks ago. One of y'all. Did I say it right? Ladies and gentlemen, a great champion once again here at the Texas Pro, Jessica Reyes. Yeah. That is so awesome. Congratulations again to Jessica. Yes, congrats, girl. Well, we'll see her right back at the Olympia. Yeah.